Reading is fun and math is great, but now it's time for Art with Miss Kate. Buenos dias, artistas. Hello, friends. Today we're going to learn how to Henry Matisse, he's one of my favorite artists, and he works really well with our Earth Day theme because Wednesday is the 50th anniversary of Earth Day. So let me show you Henry, and we're going to make some recycled artwork in honor of Henry Matisse. He used to be a painter, and he got a type of cancer, and he had to use a wheelchair a lot, and he couldn't paint anymore. He used very vibrant colors when he was a painter. I like his paintings, too. And so when he became more disabled, he started painting paper colors and then cutting the paper out and making these collages. And I like his artwork so much that I painted one of my bathrooms to look like his collages. I'm going to show you pictures on the computer. Then you don't have to walk around through my house. It's easier this way. So you can see that I really, really like Henry Matisse. I like his work a lot. And I have a lot of examples to show you. And then we're going to do some... Here's one. Now these are with construction paper. But because we're honoring our Earth right now, because it's the 50th anniversary of Earth Day, the one I'm going to show you today is going to be 100% recycled. You don't have to use construction paper. Of course, if you want to, you may. You can use, for our Art at Home series, you can always use whatever supplies work for you, because we all have different supplies in our homes. So there's a lots of different examples made with construction paper. Now let's look in this book at some of Henry's work. Some of his collages were very, very large. This one is on the ceiling in the art room. You may recognize it. This is supposed to be the profile of someone with a very large nose at a circus. This is supposed to be a sword swallower. <coughs> Excuse me also at a circus. He did collages about jazz music, he did collages about circuses. Some of his collages became stained glass windows. Some of his collages became tapestries. Some of his collages became the tile work in an Olympic sized swimming pool in Nice, France. So some of these ended up in their final stage to be extremely large this is his art room, and look, he's got them going all the way up to his ceiling from his floor. So some of these were really, really big. And here he is sitting, and these ones became stained glass windows, and you can see they're very large. He called it drawing with scissors. Here's some more stained glass windows. He didn't usually draw the shapes first, he just cut them. But we're going to show you both ways today, and you can choose what works for you. These are some more windows. I like his work a lot. I've been lucky enough to have seen some of it in person in France, and it's really quite something. There's another real big one. He also did a lot of collages with instruments. Uh, he absolutely loved jazz music, and a lot of his artwork is about jazz music. So let's figure out how we can do some collages that are 100% recycled. Here I took a box, a cardboard box, um, that was partially cut up. These are samples for paint, because I've been painting inside my house. These are pencils from an art supply catalog. These black blobs are from a coffee bag. This red background is from a magazine where there was a lot of red. This blue is a bill, the back of a bill. So I'm just using things that I have in my home that I have easy access to. Here's one that I started for today's demonstration. This is a 
another piece of junk mail, okay? This is, I'm going to show you how he did a spiral, because he used the negative space a lot too, the part that we would often throw away, or the background, some people call it. So here's a spiral, and you're going to notice something right away. Even though I cut a spiral, when I would glue it down, you wouldn't be able to see that it's a spiral very well. That's because I have to do one more step. Watch what I do now. And I'm going to end up with two spirals. And you can use both of them if you wish for your collage. You certainly don't have to, but you can. So there. Now I have two of these. And I could do this and this. Right? And use both of them. Here, I cut this shape out of a magazine because I liked all those flowers and colors. And I could use both of those if I wanted to. This shape I cut out of a magazine. I just liked this light blue. That could go there. Here I have more paint samples. You know, if you go to the hardware store to get paint and you don't know what color you want and you get these samples and you can take them home and take them up on your wall and then it can help you to decide what you want. This is a book of paint samples and I really like this color here. So I'm going to make some circles out of that. A very easy way to make either squares or circles is to cut strips and then if you want to turn them into squares you just do this and now I have a bunch of squares and that was really easy and if you want to keep them as squares you can go ahead and keep them as squares if you want to turn them into circles you just cut the corners off and you have some little circles okay it's a very easy way to make that shape. I want to show you another shape that Henry used a lot of, in case you want to use it yourself. He made a lot of leaf shapes, leaf-ish shapes. So if you want to try a leaf-ish shape, most people, um, many people like to draw them first. You don't have to though. If you want to draw first, go for it. And if you don't, just cut. I kind of like just cutting. I think it's a little more free. But if you want to draw, go right ahead. You're the artist. Do it the way that works best for you. Okay. So here now I have this leaf-ish shape. Maybe I want to put that underneath. Okay. And now I have this other one that I could also use if I wanted to. The main thing to remember when you decide you're ready to glue your, your pieces down is you don't want to just dump off your whole paper because you might not remember where you had all your pieces. So what I do is I just glue one little bit at a time and then I, it's easier for me to remember where I want them. And sometimes when I'm making my collage, I change my mind about where I want them and I move them around. That's perfectly fine. You're the artist. You can do whatever you want, right? There isn't a wrong way to do this. Now, what if you like this project, but you didn't see the lesson where I said, let's start saving scraps and recyclables to make art out of them. That's okay. Let's say you want to do this lesson, but you don't have... A lot of different scraps of paper because you can see that I've been saving scraps of paper since the governor said we need to stay safe and stay at home so I've been saving them for quite some time maybe that isn't the case for you but maybe you still want to do this project don't worry about it you can still do it let me show you one other way here I took another junk mail and this one was nice and long and I drew his shapes and I colored them in with marker. It's not the same as a collage, but it's like the plan for a collage. So you could do it this way too. So boys and girls, the sky's the limit here when you learn about Henry Matisse. I hope you enjoy making a collage or making a drawing of a collage.
I miss you. Bye-bye.